So I went out this morning with a couple of uh, photography buddies and uh, well, we got some we got some great shots and I'm actually excited with this lot of photos. I mean, I haven't uh, opened this yet, so I'm keen to check it out. So what I want to do with the video is share with you my photography workflow, step by step. If anything at all, take what's useful and leave the rest. Now, and I mean, if you want to follow the process, I'm going to structure it so it's going to be a step by step thing. You'll be able to pause the video and follow along if you're doing the same thing on your own computer. The things that I'm going to cover specifically is organizing my folders, as you can see over here. Just go one step back. There they are. They're in here. How I organize my my uh, my folders, keep everything tidy. Uh, by the way, this is backed up on a um, on an external hard drive. So photos come in. That's the memory card from the com uh, from the camera. They go into an imports folder, camera imports, and then from here I'm going to mark which ones I want to keep, and I'm going to delete the rest. And the keepers are going to go in here, and then from here they're going to get sorted out and put into their respective uh, albums. So I've got three folders here for my bird photos. So let's open this up, and we go in here, I select all, and then we just drag these over into photo imports. Now I've actually already done this, so I don't need to do it again, but you know, you just drag that over, drop them in there. Once they're in, we're ready to go through and select the ones we want to keep. So the first step is to open Luminar AI. Uh, by the way, the links to Luminar and these um, other programs, Topaz, Denoise and Gigapixel, uh, are in the uh, description below. So if you want to find out more about them, click those links. All right, so first thing is to go into Luminar, catalog, add a folder, and we're going to bring in these two folders. Okay, I'm going to pop them up the top here. Uh, these are my photos from today, and I'll grab the other one as well, the uh, Imports Keepers. I'm just going to drag that up and pop that in there. So now I'm going to go through and I'm going to select the photos that I want, and I, I know what I'm looking for. We'll go by Capture Time, and up here I'm going to uh, go for Large, and it's a, a very quick and easy process for me. All right. I know exactly what I'm looking for, quite like that and that. So I'll just go down here and click the little heart. This one could be a possibility as well. So I'll grab those two. I like the composition versus, you know, something like that. Okay, I'm not interested in these photos here for obvious reasons. You know, something like this with, with some background. Yeah, and I know there's a couple of shots in here that were really stunning. I hope they worked out. It was an amazing experience. We had these great egrets and one of them flew off to go and find some sticks and uh, <laughs> when it eventually came back with some sticks there was this huge hullabaloo everybody jumped up and down and got really excited I'm going to be keen to have a look at that it was a lot of fun this morning here we go it might be some of these photos here yeah I mean this was amazing one of them flew off and he or she came back with these twigs and everybody got really excited. They were jumping up and down and carrying on. Just look at that. Oh, my God. Okay, so exposure was okay. There's still some detail in these highlights, so I'm really happy with that. Uh, so I'll just uh, select that as a keeper at the moment. I'll grab this one. That's beautiful. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't you love it? Look at this. <laughs> oh my god that's what it's all about for me i mean and you know i remember when this was happening i i got so excited i was there with my mate bruce and uh, uh michael a couple of buddies we're going to clean up all of this noise and this is going to be tack sharp by the time i'm finished with this that's fantastic so that's a favorite oh, look i'll just grab these ones i'll, I'll favorite those as well there's some that are going to go into the album and Others that'll just remain as keepers and the others will be maybes. It's a bird in flight. But anyway, you get the gist. All right, that's it. Done. So then uh, come up here and I go by pick. And what will happen is these will be sent down to the bottom if you um, pick by ascending. All right, so then I'm just looking for the uh, little hearts. 
it starts from here so I'll select this one hit shift select that one and I'm just going to drag these into keepers now it's 33 photos out of 310 that I'm keeping there they all are see how that reduces down now I'm going to come back here there's my camera imports select all right click and bin the lot they're gone I had 33 photos that I want and out of them I'll probably delete some others as well so now this is the uh, uh, memory card from the camera I just close that I don't delete them in here I format them in the camera right, so now we have some photos before I do any edits these get put through denoise first thing I want to do is clean up the noise and some of these will have a bit of noise if we have a look I mean if you're using a fast shutter speed and you're cranking up the ISO to get the light you're going to have noise in the photo. We zoom in into um, this section here, you'll see. We'll just wait for it to load. Yeah, you see how, how grainy that is? No, that's just unavoidable. It's um, fast shutter speed, ISO is cranked up to compensate, and there's going to be noise because of the high ISO. But it's not an issue because we have these amazing tools at our disposal. Open denoise, browse. Okay there's the folder open select all and then we just import those so we'll open those they come into denoise down here i'm going to select all 33 and then we can grab the little square and uh do that seriously i just let let the program do its job but look at the difference on the left that's the original and this is what denoise does it just takes it takes all of this grain out and, and cleans it and cleans up the image I just go auto save 33 images that's it preserve source format same directory source directory and start that's all I have to do we'll let that process now if we go back to the folder pull that in a little bit go in here so what's going to happen we'll see these drop in there we go see and it, and it renames it as raw this is the original 1467 and this is the optimized or, or the image that's been cleaned up so what I'll do I'll pause the video I'll let this run through and then once this is completed it's going to give us a green tick on the right and uh, I'll come back when that's done righto back into denoise now we've got a blue tick all done all right so what we do is we remove all up here that's done and we quit denoise that's the original that's been cleaned up so I'm going to select all these going to get rid of them because denoise has basically just copied the file it's the same raw file it's now .dng I just don't like hanging on to stuff that I don't need and um, if you want to you can put these somewhere and keep them but uh, I'm going to bin them now I have 33 nice clean images so we go back into Luminar now okay so Luminar doesn't see them we might just have to restart or quit and uh, restart Luminar sometimes it does that and um, they might fix that in a future uh, update perhaps all right so we can see 33 images are in here now if we open the same Im image we had open previously if you remember it was pretty noisy when we zoomed into the uh, this underside of this wing here uh, if we zoom in now look how clean that is just beautiful so that's done and the next part of the process is to is to edit the files okay so I'm going to double click this first image and we'll go to the edit tab first thing I do is I straighten and crop I don't do any other edits so I'll just come in here and I'll find my composition I right, quite like that All right so I'm gonna save that now to cut a long story short I crop all of the images and then I come back to the beginning and I make some adjustments to each each image I generally work with the essentials under edit here these that's it I don't I don't use any of these others except for possibly uh, dodge and burn and, and clone but uh, it's it's all mainly done through the essentials I quite like this image it's not much to do to it I mean I might just enhance it a little bit pull up the accent perhaps come down here to light maybe uh, brighten it a little bit more pull up some of the shadows perhaps 
kind of happy with that. It probably needs a little bit of contrast. Yeah, that's not bad. Keep it simple. If you've got a decent camera, it's going to minimize the work you do as far as editing. I might just add a little bit of vignette. Uh, what you can do now is you can actually save these edits and apply them to some of the other photos. So we've got about four of these that are in the same spot. Okay, so we might want to apply these edits to the others. So what we can do is just come down here and save this. We can save it. And that will save it as a template. This is called My Template Edited. Now the other thing you might want to do is go to Templates and up the top here, Luminar is going to make a suggestion. The, the AI model has selected a few of these here. You know, you could click through here and apply some of these, see what they look like. Uh, I mean, let's just do that. Micro World, Distinctive Drops. Oh, that's, that's kind of nice. Uh, and then, you know, you can come down here and back that off if it's too strong. All right. I mean, that, that's actually quite nice. And, uh, you know, you might want to mess with the, 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 the edits a little bit after you've applied a template. Come back over here, maybe uh, pull up some shadows or something with this one etc a little bit of exposure not much and you know that might be your thing so i guess templates first if you're going to use them i actually don't use them i only use the essentials tab but templates first and then come in here and do your final edit best close-up edited so you can save that so we'll save it and then you can apply this edit to the other photo so if we're going to templates go back out come down to my templates this is it here, all right? So if we back out of here, let's just go to this photo now. I've been messing around with that, but let's just change it. Go to Templates. And I'm going to Best Close-Up Edits. There's, there's, the, uh, there's the adjustments. And then if you like, you can kind of back them off if it's too over the top. Find your happy medium. So that's that. Straighten and crop everything. I do my edits. And once I'm happy with my photos, I'm going to then do a final sort. Some of these are going to go into my album, and the album is what I'm going to share with, with friends and family in the world. I'll export these uh, online. They could go into my Facebook groups, etc. The final edit is preparing them for the album. I'm going to work out which of these photos now I don't want in the album, okay? So I'm going to favorite the ones that I'm going to put in the album. So it's going to be this one that one and it'll be most likely this one here just check that out quickly I love this photo let's see what we can get out of it look at that awesome do that love it do your edits that's going to go into the album so I'll favorite that and whatever else okay so again I'm going to sort by pick and if these are the ones that I've picked for my album, I'll drag them over into the album it's going to go into. And then I'm going to do a final edit just before I upload them to Facebook or, or wherever um, I'm going to upload them. And these other ones are going to go into my keepers. So you can, you can just drag these over and chuck them in there. All right, I'll just leave them here for now. All right, so you can click those. Select all of those, and you can drag them into your into your into your keepers. Right, so you sort those out. Now I'm going to mess with these, so I'll leave them here so I can come back. Okay. So once you've sorted that out, the ones that you want to go to the album are going to be edited next, and and this is what we're going to do. So we'll we'll grab these. Now the reason why we do a final edit with these, and it's going to be using um, Topaz Gigapixel here, is the fact that if I open that up, we've cropped in and we've lost resolution by cropping. The other thing is that the image is a little bit soft, so I want to I want to sharpen that up and give it a give it a bit of a boost. We're going to upscale the resolution. This process, then, I will select the photos that I want, these three, and I'm going to go to export, save to disk. Well, firstly, we want to select the folder, so I want it, I want them to go into the same folder. I'll open that up, come down to options, and we're going to select TIFF. TIFF and we want 300 pixels per inch. That's it. So let's just save these. Amazing, you know, out of 300 photos, I'll probably end up with five or six because I haven't um, had a look at the other ones. 
Um, and I mean, I'm really fussy with, with my photos and, uh, you know, I don't want to collect a whole bunch of junk that I'm never going to look at again. All right, they've been exported. If we go to our folder, we can see the TIFFs that have come in. If I sort by name here, so there's three TIFFs. All right, so now we open Gigapixel and we pull those selected photos into Gigapixel. All right, kind three TIFF files. So let's just pull three of those in. Open. Now make sure that select all down the bottom here is ticked. And up here we can pull a little square up to the eye and I'll show you the difference. In fact, what we'll do is we'll go to, we'll go to comparison view. The top left is the original. This one here, I'm going to click standard. Bottom left, click in here and then select low resolution. Bottom right, click in here and then select Very Compressor. These are my bird adjustments. Update the preview down here and let the, the program do its thing. It's, it's pretty smart. I really like the AI doing what the AI does best. So I'm just going to click Auto here. So have a look at this. Look at the difference between this one. This is the original. And look how sharp it is around the eye here. So I'm going to go with Very Compressed. I, I prefer that over the others. So I'm going to go back up here to Split... Uh, side. No, I'm going to go to Split View. And we're going to Update Preview again. By the way, I've selected four times. Scale. These are the adjustments. Now let's just pull that through here. Let's look at the difference there. That's insane. There you go. That's the original. Uh, so the other thing you can do with this is you can experiment with two times, update, and just have a look and see. I mean, that's pretty good. What does six times look like? Update. Every time you move this around, you've got to click update. Amazing. Wow. I think I'm going to go four times. That'll be my uh, final update preview. Update. Save three images. All right, so this is what's going to get uploaded to my Facebook group. So we'll save those. Preserve the source format, blah, blah, blah. Save in the same directory. Start. Okay, so if we go back over to the directory or the folder, we'll see those come in. Now, that's the original. Okay, let's just sort by name here. And Gigapixel has renamed it as such as a TIFF. There's one more thing we're going to do with this actually. I don't want to upload a TIFF file to Facebook. You could have, if you wanted to, saved it as a JPEG. I prefer to save it as a TIFF. And we'll just wait for that to process because I'm going to go back to Luminar one last time. We're just waiting for this now to complete. You know, if it's taking a while, time for a cup of coffee, have a break. All right, so these are done. We can see now these three files have uh, dropped in. Let's come back over here and we're going to remove now and close quit gigapixel. Restart Luminar. I'll go by uh, file name ascending. All right, so here we have our first edit here. Now, if you have a look down the bottom right hand, you'll see the name of the file. Actually, we'll open that up. This one is the original raw file. This is the TIFF we saved, raw TIFF. And this one is the, the final product. All right, if you remember, this was noisy and it was pretty soft around the face. Let's look at that. Look at the difference. Just how sharp is that? It's just beautiful. I couldn't be happier. The final product is just insane. And there's enough resolution with this file to print. When you crop... You lose resolution, and and you wouldn't you wouldn't have been able to print that um, the other file. But this has been upscaled. The resolution's been upscaled, and this could be printed. I love this photo. Let's have a look at one of these others. It's this one here. So that's the uh, that's the final product here. Remember, this was pretty grainy under the wing, and the eyes were blurry. Well, let's just see how it turned out. You can see up here. It's still loading while it's kind of flashing blue. And we'll just wait for that. Okay, done. All right, let's just have a look under under the wing here. Let that load. 
There's just no noise in this photo at all. It's so clean. Oops. Every time you move it, it's got to reload. All right. Just see how clean that is. Zoom in on the eye. The before and after is just remarkable. Couldn't be happier. Let it load. Look at that. It's fantastic. All right. Now, these three files are ready to upload to my um, social media or wherever. So I'm going to select them. So select that one. Hold down the shift or command or whatever you've got. Select that one. And then we select the last one. So these are the final images. All right. So now we go to export and we save to disk. Come down here. It's going to go in the same fo folder. Go to options and we want to save these as a JPEG. And you can kind of adjust the quality. I'll go 80% or thereabouts and save. We're going to have three JPEG files now that we can upload to our social media. And it's uh, exported two of them. So we'll go down, okay, go over to our folder. And we can see now we have the JPEG final product. There's two of them. We're waiting for the other one to load. So that's really my process. And, you know, from here, I'll, I'll go to Facebook and upload to my bird groups. Or, you know, from here, I might take it to, um, to Smug Mug. Stick that in my bird album in smug mug i'll do a title later on and, and the thing with this workflow is you know due to having programs like denoise and gigapixel you can buy very affordable secondhand equipment where you might find that a lot of your images are soft and pretty grainy and uh, you'd be surprised at how much you can enhance your photos with great software okay so to wrap up there's a link in the description below to find out more about uh, Luminar and Topaz, use the promo code. You get a discount and we have a fantastic solution to a problem that I hear a lot of uh, photographers discussing, especially wildlife photographers. So with that, hope you have a great day. Get out there and take lots of photos, share them around and uh, see you in the next video.